Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Mohammed Yusuf. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Bar Rashid Al Zayani, met the Jordanian Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs and Expatriates, Ayman Al Safadi. Dr. Al Zayani hailed the strong relations between the two kingdoms in light of the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Majesty King Abdullah II bin Al Hussein of Jordan. He also valued the two countries' common positions on enhancing Arab security, national security, and supporting comprehensive and just peace opportunities at the regional and international levels. The two sides affirmed their keenness to further develop bilateral cooperation in the political, economic and security fields. They also reiterated their commitment on combating extremism, terrorism and foreign interference in the internal affairs of Arab countries. The meeting was attended by the Ambassador of Bahrain to Jordan, Ahmed al rawai and the Ambassador of Jordan to Bahrain and Dean of the Diplomatic Corps, Rami Saleh al-Adwan, and senior officials from the Ministries of Foreign Affairs of both countries. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Bar Rashid Al Zayani, and the Jordanian Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs and Expatriates held a press conference in Amman. Dr. Al Zayani praised the strong relations between the two brotherly countries under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn Al Hussein of Jordan. He added that a number of regional and international issues of common interest were discussed, including the Palestinian cause, the war in Yemen, the Iranian nuclear file, the war in Ukraine, global food security security, the energy crisis, and other important issues. al Safadi welcomed the visit of the minister, stressing the interest of the two leaders to consolidate the historical relations between the two sides. He noted the means of enhancing the bilateral relations were discussed, which reflect the depth of the brotherly relations. He emphasized the importance of strengthening joint Arab action to face the challenges facing the Middle region. Bahrain is making great efforts to create suitable job opportunities for all through an integrated plan of initiatives. In a press conference, the Minister of Labor, Jamil Ahmedan, stressed that the unemployment rate decreased to 5.7% until the end of June 2022, indicating that unemployment fares will return with more job vacancies. In order to achieve the visions of His Majesty the King and an implementation of the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, the government of Bahrain has taken a well-studied and integrated strategy that reflects its keenness to support citizens. The Ministry of Labor worked to reduce the unemployment rate by launching many ambitious initiatives and plans aimed at employing job seekers. These tireless efforts reflect the success of Bahrain and the economic recovery plan and the recovery of the labor market. The ministry announced its readiness for the return of unemployment of employment fairs after a break due to the pandemic as it is scheduled to provide 3,500 jobs for Bahrainis and give them the opportunity and priority. The Electricity and Water Authority has renewed its call on customers to make use of fixed billing system to arrange payment schedules based on the average energy usage. The authority affirmed that the system guarantees avoiding interruptions in energy services, even in cases where usage exceeds the fixed bill. It added that the new the new system will also help users to budget for water and electricity in the summer peak season. The authority said that there will be an accurate reading of the meter that will be billed as usual. A report by the Central Bank of Bahrain revealed that the points of sale and e-commerce transactions during the month of July amounted to over 12,360,000 transactions. This growth in the Bahraini market comes as a result of the interest that the government has given to the commercial sector through initiatives and plans, the most prominent of which is the Economic Recovery Plan. The Bahraini market is witnessing a remarkable growth as a result of the efforts of the government during the coronavirus pandemic. According to the CBB report, the government services sector is at the forefront with a value amounting to around 91.5 million BD, while the restaurant sector represented this statistics with a value exceeding 37 million. The upward trend is also confirmed by the results shown by the survey measuring investor confidence in the business climate conducted by the Statistics and Population Registry Directorate of the Information and E-Government Authority in the third quarter of 2022.